I'm Steve for This Oak With Cars and today I want to finish up my install of the lithium battery and inverter project. Once I have that done, I think the camper is done for now and I can move back to working on some cars. This is what things look like with everything put back together. One thing I didn't show you last time is where I installed the inverter remote and I decided to do that right here. Now I can come in, hit that button and turn the power on. But if you remember from last time, I installed everything underneath this dinette seat. And with everything inside that small enclosed box, it could get pretty hot in there. So today, I'm going to start by providing some ventilation for those things so that they can keep cool. All of my equipment is located underneath the dinette seat. And over here, underneath the couch seat, we have these nets that will easily allow air to pass into this box. I'm planning on drawing my air from this box and using a simple vent to allow the air to pass from this box, which has the nets, into the box where the equipment is. This vent just happens to be the perfect size to fit up in here. So I'm going to put this up near the top so that it will draw the hot air that's accumulating at the top of this box down and then out the other side. It says that this is meant for a duck size of 2 by 14 inches, so I'm going to cut a template out of cardboard that has the outer dimensions so I can make sure I get everything centered, and then has a 2 by 14 hole in the middle of it, which I can then transfer to the camper. My template is done. So I can transfer this hole up to here. As long as I cut on the outside of those lines, it should be good. Just placing one of these vents on each side of this box would probably do the trick, but I have a better idea for the other side. For the side of the box over here, I'm going to use one of these register booster fan systems, and this is completely programmable, so it will be all automatic. I'm going to be installing it down here so that the air comes in over there, flows all across the equipment, and then blows out down here. This fan has several different modes. Right now it's just showing me the temperature here in the camper. In the next mode, I can have it turn on when the temperature drops below a certain point, but I don't want to use that, so I have it set to off. The next mode, I have the fan set to turn on when it gets to 85 degrees or higher. So when the air inside that box reaches 85 degrees, these fans will kick on and keep running until it's cooled down below that. In the next setting, we can set our fan speeds. The fans have turned on now. I can turn it up if I want the fans to blow higher. But this is pretty noisy and not something that you want in a camper. So I'm going to set the fans to a level where I can hardly hear them. I think four is a good level. And I can also use this mode if I want the fans to run manually. I'm going to move back to the temperature mode and then I'm going to unplug it so that I can install it. I can use this box that this came in as a template if I cut these wings off of here first. There is a wooden beam traveling right through here. So I need to make sure that I put it in the center between those. One thing I didn't point out is this cable can come out the side. If you had an outlet right here, you can plug it right in. But I'm going to tuck it so it comes out the back. Just like so. Then everything will be hidden. Okay. 
it's plugged in and ready to go, but I want to test it. So I plug this heater into the inverter. I'm going to turn it on and then place it down behind the fan. And hopefully we can watch the temperature rise and see if it turns on or not. Okay, we've hit 85. I don't think these are on yet. Maybe it needs to go above 85. Now we're at 87. Oh, these, these fans actually did kick on. They're just so quiet, I didn't hear them. Let's turn the speed up. Now you can hear those are definitely on. I've turned the heater off. Let's see how long it takes for it to cool that box down. We're at 85, the fans are still running. I expect once we drop below 85, they're gonna shut off. I hear the fans shutting off slowly. We're down to 83 degrees. So I guess these fans don't just turn on and or off. They will slowly come down from the speed that they're at. We're down to 81 before they even stop. That sound you hear right now is actually the charger on the other side running, which means this fan is plenty strong enough to keep that box from heating up while the charger's going. One thing I forgot to mention, these fans can be really handy. And these fans run off of 12 volts. So that little AC adapter turns the AC power into 12 volts so if you wanted to you could power these directly off the batteries i could wire this directly up to one of the 12 volt circuits in the converter but i want this to turn on and off only when ac power is present and that's why i'm using ac even though 12 volt dc is available coming into the camper you wouldn't notice any of that hard work that i've done over the last two videos but all of that work is going to make a huge improvement while camping so that's going to be up for today. I'm really excited to take this camper out again. It's going to be a completely different experience than I had the last time. And I'm sure that I will keep improving the camper as I find more interesting things to install on it. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.